टुडे वी हैव विद अस अ स्पेशल गेस्ट डॉक्टर एन एल शर्मा प्रोफेसर एमेरिटस इन डर्मेटोलॉजी ही इज़ वेरी फेमस फॉर इज शार्प डायग्नोस्टिक एंड थेरापूटिक स्किल्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ स्किन डिजीजेज एंड अ हीलर पार एक्सेलेंस प्रेजेंटली प्रैक्टिसिंग इन पालमपुर द फेमस टी टाउन इन द कांगड़ा वैली सर प्लीज टेल आर व्यूअर्स वेर योर नेटिव प्लेस एंड वेन एंड वेर डिड यू डू योर स्कूल एजुकेशन I belong to a small village called Nagehad, Ajnat, Tasil, and uh, Kangra district of Himachal Pradesh. Uh, because my uh, father was a uh, government service, and he used to be um, transferred every now and then. So I did my schooling in number of schools in small towns of Himachal Pradesh, especially district Kangra, and uh, uh, kept on moving. every 2 3 years but main education main part of it was in dharmshala uh, dharmshala boys school which i still love very fondly and it is beautiful and also a very good schooling hub all right anything special that you want to mention about your childhood uh basically uh, i belong to a uh, uh, lower middle class family and my father used to be in uh, postal services uh, used to be postmaster and uh, a person who is uh, who was um, honest to the core and my mother was a dedicated housewife so i imbibed all my um, Uh, habits and uh, values from them and uh, basically i owe everything to my parents right and then when and where did you go for your mbbs after my schooling from dharmshala higher secondary and then i went to college uh, government college mandi for uh, pre medical education and then after that i moved to shimla igmc at that time it was called hpmc but later on it was changed to indira gandhi medical college and there i have spent more around 35 years of my age all right will you please share with us any sweet or interesting memories of your mbbs days about your college or shimla or anything else Uh, yes, uh, got very fond memories of Shimla, and uh, uh, this medical college was started in 1966, and I joined it in 1969. That was the fourth batch of uh, this college, and uh, during this period, during my tenure in this college, this college was recognized by medical council, even the. medical uh, the hp university was also uh, that also came up during this period only initially when we entered it was punjab university but later then it was hp Med, uh, university was formed and then we were affiliated to that university but it is a very very sweet journey uh, of about 5 to 6 years in that college uh, and i fondly remember my great teachers like uh, professor puri dr malik dr das gupta dr r c sharma and great teachers i still uh, respect them i still remember them and i owe everything to those teachers sir after completing your mbbs from igmc shimla when and where did you go for your post graduation after that i went to uh, molana azad medical college new delhi uh, at that time uh, that was immediately after my graduation okay. after doing my house job at that time it used to be 2 years of uh, post graduation education and uh, that was in 1976 i started uh, uh, md Uh, classes at uh, Delhi, my MAMC. All right. 
anything sir you want to share with us about your stay and work experience in mamc anything that is still fresh in your mind a very very nice a very good college i remember um uh, i studied there even i used to go as a examiner also for post graduation uh, for md degree also and uh, uh, this college this department of dermatology was uh, uh, quite famous because the professor then dr professor ratan singh uh, was a very strict and tough person for academics otherwise very loving person but very tough person as a academician so uh, even in between sometimes some students used to leave this degree also because of his uh, strict nature but somehow we we survived and the we um, uh, we what we are today is because of his um, uh, efforts all right any special memories of the dermatology department at ams Dr. Uh, Professor Ratan Singh, Professor Sardari Lal, and Dr. Uh, R. C. Sharma, uh, they were our teachers, and uh, it was very, very, uh, very good stay at uh, M. A. M. C. Uh, and uh, especially, I would say that it, the clinical material which I have seen in those periods that was excellent. and uh, it is uh, irwin hospital which is near the old delhi uh, and there's beautiful very good materi- uh, cl- clinical material in that uh, college okay please tell us about your career path after post graduation i know you served at igmc shimla as a professor when and uh, when did you join there as a faculty member and for how long did you serve there immediately after uh, my post graduation that is uh, 1978 i joined senior residency at safdarjang hospital delhi and after one year i moved to st john's medical college bangalore okay. worked there for uh, one year and uh, vividly remember professor marshall there and le- i learned several things from him also very very nice person then because shimla was my parent state and parent uh, medical college so i moved to uh, igmc uh, in 1980 and after that i spent about uh, say 28 years in that college as uh, right from assistant professor associate professor and uh, professor all right so how did you feel teaching in the institution where you were a student once is is a very pleasant pleasant memory uh it is not only uh the teaching basically when uh, as a uh, physician as a doctor you always keep on learning as well it is not only teaching we learn from students also and uh, uh you know uh, those formative years of my life uh, i enjoyed my uh, academic career in fact from very beginning i was interested in academics so um, right from somewhere in 1980s uh, we uh, started uh, publishing also some interesting cases also and uh, then uh, uh, this himachal being a hilly state uh, there are some diseases which are uh, peculiar to this state uh, is pre- predominantly a horticultural state and uh, also agricultural state so there are some diseases which are only uh, peculiar to this state so we studied them i learnt a lot from my uh, professor dr r c sharma basically he was 
responsible for uh, in uh, inducing me in dermatology from my undergraduate career and later on he acted as a mentor he acted as a teacher he acted as a friend he acted as a guide for me and still uh, we have very good relations all right after igmc you came to your native kangra valley and joined the newly uh, developed dr rajendra prasad medical college tanda how was your stay in this beautiful and fine medical college of our state as i told you before that uh, uh, the igmc or may uh, medical college shimla uh, we started when it was in infancy similarly when i moved to this uh, uh, rpgmc uh, it was also in infancy right so we had a lot of uh, teething problems we faced them we established a good department in I rpgmc and in fact uh, the uh, uh, i won't say it is the credit to me but it is credit to my whole department that uh, uh post graduation classes were started in uh medical college shimla during my tenure and also in rpg medical college tanda during my tenure okay that is very creditable uh, sir it is amazing to see how you have devoted your whole life to dermatology caring for patients of skin problems please tell us about your present medical facility or clinic uh somewhere in 19 uh, 211 i started this clinic initially it was just main, mainly uh, clinical dermatology and with a few cautery machine and also small facilities but uh, later on because there was a demand and there the uh, government hospitals were not able to provide this laser facilities so i added those things in uh, somewhere in uh, 19 uh, 2014 or 15 uh, now we have got um, uh, quite good number of uh, facilities like uh, um, diode laser um, ipl um, micro needling micro needling radio frequency um, hydra facials and uh, all those things we are doing in fact uh, initially it was basically clinical dermatology but then we had to add cosmetic dermatology as well all right uh, what is the name of your clinic and where is it located it is a national skin clinic uh, near yamini hotel palampur all right sir what are the most commonly encountered skin diseases in himachal pradesh especially in the kangra valley being a hilly area any difference you see in the prevalence of skin diseases uh, here with that in the plain areas uh yes it's almost similar but there are some few here and there there are some differences but these days especially last few let's say a decade or so uh these partially resistant superficial fungal infections they have become more common and uh, almost 50 to 60% of my uh, opd attendance is this superficial fungal infections and uh, in addition the routine things like scabies vitiligo um, warts and all all other things the normal skin outdoor patients they they do come to us acne vulgaris these are normal things uh, but we keep on uh, in fact we have worked uh, especially in my medical college shumla in uh, uh, deep fungal infections because it's a hilly state so these were uh, relatively more common in uh, hilly state deep fungal infections like sporotrichosis and chromoblastomycosis and uh, we have got number of publications on this subject also uh, somewhere in 19 uh, 
late 80s we started seeing cutaneous leishmaniasis which was hitherto unreported in Himachal Pradesh. So uh, then we started uh, recording it and uh, uh, it assumed almost a uh, epidemic proportion in uh, this uh, Satluj Valley of Himachal Pradesh and uh, later we investigated it uh, thoroughly, uh, studied its demographics and also characterized its uh, organism and uh, uh, published it in uh, international journals. Uh, of course, we took help of uh, some uh, national institutes as well as some foreign national institutes also. And uh, we, uh, the, that epidemic is now almost an endemic in Satluj Valley, uh, but it came out uh, as an epidemic in uh, 90s and uh, first decade of this uh, century. All right. Dermatology must have advanced greatly now compared to when you started your tryst with it. What are the major differences you see in derma practice now and at that time? When I started my career, it was basically clinical dermatology and with very few facilities, laboratory facilities like KOH, potassium hydroxide preparations and examining under microscope and all. And with the backup of uh, um, being in medical college, microbiology and pathological backup. But now uh, it's cosmetic dermatology which has taken over, which has become more important in dermatology. Uh, but I still feel that uh, uh, if you have a good knowledge of uh, um, clinical dermatology then only you should practice cosmetic dermatology because foundation is clinical dermatology all right dermatology is a very visual branch and dr google is becoming more and more uh, popular in diagnosing skill ailments do you see any trends in evolving in this regard uh, yes, yes. Uh, now number of people, especially the young generation, they come and uh, um, come after reading Google about that particular disease. Uh, but definitely I tell them that yes, you must put some filters with in the Google knowledge and uh, you have to trust the physician finally but definitely there is a change there is a change in the um, uh, patient scenario as well okay i see kitchen gardening is your hobby and you have a special interest in growing flowers and vegetables can we have a look at your garden dr Urvish, uh, in fact i there's a saying that uh, what is life if it is full of care? There is no time to stand and stare. So uh, now, of course, for the last so many years, I spent m morning hours in my hobby that is uh, gardening, to be more specific in floriculture. Okay. Uh, fond of uh, some uh, a plant called begonias, flowering plant, tuberous begonias, and also orchids. Of course, uh, begonias is not the season, but uh, uh, you can see some orchids in uh, bloom in my garden these days. All right. Who are the members in your family and how have they contributed to your life and professional growth? Uh, in fact, my better half, Asha. Sharma, uh, she has supported me in every sphere of life. Um, basically, that she is the backbone of uh, my professional as well as whole career. And, uh, very devoted housewife, and uh, the two daughters, the elder one, um, she is a dentist, and the younger one, she is. Uh, 
uh, although she is uh, a um, she has done MBA, but she is assisting me in uh, cosmetic procedures in my clinic. So all of them, I am nothing if uh, I don't have back of my family. All right. Anything else that you may like to share about your long journey, professional or personal? Uh, to the new generation, I will definitely say that uh, yes, dermatology is a very, very nice branch, very good branch where you have to train your eyes. But uh, as I said before also that it is basically the fundamentals should be strong for protect uh, for practicing cosmetic dermatology. So, clinical dermatology forms the foundation of uh, dermatology. So, for practicing cosmetic dermatology, you must have a strong base of clinical dermatology. All right. And sir, who should cho choose dermatology as a career choice and who should not? Any message for new medical students? Uh, basically, uh, is a very good branch but those who are interested in aesthetics they should go in for this branch uh, initially long back uh, people used to choose it because there were no emergencies but definitely it has emergencies also not to that extent but definitely it has em emergencies like uh, Stephen Johnson syndrome and all pemphigus and pemphigoid also but uh, you know this is a very fascinating branch those who are interested in aesthetics they should go in for that in this branch all right thank you uh, I'm grateful to you for sparing your precious time and hope that we will meet again soon with some other useful topics thanks thank a lot sir. very much Dr. Urvish and uh, surely we'd like to uh, have talked to with you in future also. All right, thank you, sir. So, what is this flower? Which flower is this? Is orchid, uh, Phalaenopsis. All right. Phalaenopsis. Geranium. Christmas cactus. Christmas cactus, all right. There are also some orchids. It is called Cymbidium. So what all vegetables have you grown? Uh, this cauliflower, this cauliflower and this is a cabbage. There are some plants of uh, lotus. Oh, lotus. Nice. And that is broccoli. Broccoli. Mustard greens and this gooseberry amla. We have some this uh, Some 
citrus shoots and this one is uh, a, a, a rare plant called Jinko biloba. This has medicinal value as well. All right.